Is your HVAC system not operating the way it should be? The problem may be your thermostat isn't wired or configured correctly. Hi, I'm Duncan from Residio. During this video, I'll cover how to resolve the seven most common thermostat wiring and installation issues, starting with no power. If your thermostat doesn't have power, here are a couple quick things to check. Thermostats are hardwired, battery powered, and some are hardwired with battery backups. Battery powered thermostats are typically used at AA or AAA batteries. If you see a smaller battery, like a coin cell, it's likely to back up settings or time and date. The thermostat doesn't power off of this battery. If you have a battery powered thermostat that's no longer powering on, start by replacing the batteries. Make sure you put the thermostat in off mode first, and then insert the batteries correctly according to the polarity. Hardwired thermostats receive power at the RC and C terminals. If you have a hardwired thermostat that's no longer powering up, start by checking the wiring. First, turn off the power to the system and make sure that the R or RC wires are present and in good contact with their terminals. Check for the C wire as well. Then check the jumper selector switch. If you have one R or RC wire, that wire will go in the R terminal with the jumper selector switch in the up position. If you have two wires, put them in the corresponding terminals. If you're installing a thermostat that uses a C wire, and your previous thermostat did not use a C wire, you may need to confirm that the C wire is connected both at the thermostat and at the HVAC system. We highly recommend contacting an HVAC professional to complete this step. If your system isn't heating, but heat on or wait is flashing on your thermostat screen, compressor protection may be enabled. Compressor protection is a built-in safety feature that keeps the compressor off for a few minutes before restarting to prevent damage to your equipment. Please allow five to seven minutes for heating to start. The heat on message will stop flashing and remain solid when heating is active. If compressor protection isn't the issue, check the wiring based on your system type. Confirm all your wires are in the correct terminals and have good contact. For heating, the W terminal controls the heat for a conventional gas or oil furnace and for some hot water or radiant heat systems. If you have a heat pump system, you will not connect any wire to the W terminal. This can cause heat to run continuously. For a heat pump system, the Y, G, and sometimes the O slash B terminal will control the heat for your system. Again, if you have a heat pump system, you will not connect a wire to the W terminal. This can cause your heat to run continuously. Backup or auxiliary heat stages are controlled by the W2, AUX, and sometimes E terminal, depending on your configuration. The E terminal typically controls your emergency heat stage, and in some cases or configurations can also be leveraged with your backup or auxiliary heat. If you have an RC wire, but no R wire, you'll move the RC wire to the R terminal and move the jumper switch into the up position. If all your wiring appears correct and secure, confirm your thermostat is configured for your system type. Refer to your thermostat installation instructions for more details. If you're replacing your thermostat because the previous thermostat wasn't operating your heating, the problem may actually be in your HVAC system. Contact an HVAC professional to troubleshoot your system. The steps for troubleshooting your thermostat for no cooling are similar to troubleshooting for no heating. So, if your system isn't cooling, but cool on or wait is flashing on your thermostat, compressor protection may be enabled. Again, allow 5 to 7 minutes for cooling to start. Cool on message will stop flashing and remain solid. If compressor protection isn't the issue, check the wiring based on your system type. Confirm all the wires are in the correct terminals with good contact. The Y and G terminals control cooling for most conventional gas or oil furnaces with an air conditioner installed. The Y, G, and sometimes O slash B terminal control cooling for a heat pump system. The Y2 terminal controls additional cooling stages. Again, if you have an RC wire but no R wire, you will move the RC wire to the R terminal and move the jumper switch to the up position. If all wiring appears correct and secure, Confirm your thermostat is configured for your system type. Refer to your thermostat installation instructions for details. As before, if you're replacing your thermostat because the previous thermostat wasn't controlling your cooling, 
The problem may be with your HVAC system itself. Contact an HVAC professional to troubleshoot your system. Is the fan on your HVAC system not running? Start by changing the fan mode from auto to on on the screen of your thermostat. If your fan is still not running, let's check the wiring. Fan operation is controlled by the G terminal on your thermostat. Forced air systems typically have a G wire, but many radiant heat or hot water systems don't. Based on your system type, confirm the G terminal is wired and has good contact. If it is, confirm your thermostat is configured to run the fan. Refer to your thermostat installation instructions for more details on configuring your thermostat. If you're replacing your thermostat because your previous thermostat was not controlling the fan, the problem may be related to your HVAC system. Contact an HVAC professional to troubleshoot your system. Problems 5 and 6 have the same troubleshooting steps. So, if heat is running when cool should be, or cool is running when heat should be, or if your heat or cool simply won't shut off at all, incorrect wiring or configuration is most likely to blame. This is especially crucial if you have a heat pump system, when the heat is running continuously even when the system should be cooling. Remember, do not connect any wire to the W terminal for a heat pump application, as this can cause the heating to run continuously. If your system is running continuously, switch the thermostat mode to off, remove the faceplate from the wall, and then confirm your system is no longer running. To help resolve these issues, confirm your thermostat is wired and configured correctly for your HVAC system. Refer to your thermostat installation instructions for details. If you are unsure of your HVAC system type, contact an HVAC professional for assistance. The most common wiring issues are caused by incorrect wiring of the OB or W wires. If your previous thermostat had separate O, B, O slash B, and W wires, insert the O slash B wires into the O slash B terminal and insert the W wire into the W2 or AUX terminal. The last common problem is experiencing lukewarm air during a call for heating or cool. This indicates your heating and cooling systems are most likely running at the same time because of incorrect wiring. This wiring issue is most commonly caused by miswiring the O, B, O slash B, or W wires. If your previous thermostat had separate O and B wires, O slash B, or a W wire, insert the W wire into the W2 aux terminal on your new thermostat. If wiring isn't the issue, we recommend contacting an HVAC professional to troubleshoot your system. Lukewarm or mild air during a call for cool may also signal compressor damage or malfunction. If the steps in this video haven't helped resolve your HVAC system issue, contact an HVAC professional or Residio customer support for additional help. Thank you for watching.